How I animated this. I can now punch ghosts. Hi, it's Sky. In this video, I'm going to walk you through my process of creating this animation. And this is also a log for future me to refer to if needed. This animation is part of the Spells and Stuff project of the Artist Guild of Exandria. I chose to do Bo's Maelstrom Gloves. I wanted to challenge myself to do lightning effects for this animation. I have created a Firebolt animation before and wanted to take it up a notch by adding a ton of lighting and effects. I had never done this before and didn't know if I could do it, but what the heck, I was motivated. So off I go with my idea. First I grabbed a clip from Critical Role episode 55. If I recall, this is the episode where Bo obtained the Maelstrom Gloves. Then quickly roughed up some boards. They are not even anatomically proportional or correct at this time, but I just wanted to get my idea written down. Now, looking at these poorly drawn scribbles of a storyboard, I knew I had to fix up the anatomy and the movement. So I filmed some reference footage of myself doing the action. You get more believable movement by studying from life. I picked out the keyframes. And this is what our first whip looks like. I can now punch ghosts. I also tested the camera movement and went with this for the rest of the animation process. The camera movement makes it more dynamic, but I'm really just animating Bo in a standing position with her arms moving. Next, I added in-betweens to the model to see if I liked the movement. I didn't add any details here yet because it's easier to tweak and keep track of this way. I did make a character reference sheet in another file while doing this. Once I was happy with how the roughs look, I added the details at the line art stage. Yes, I lined on top of the rough model. Sometimes I sketch on top of the first pass before lining, but this time I wanted to do the lines right away. It was just a feeling. And it's faster this way. I also made the hair move when the punch hits. Then I did some lip syncing. This is pretty straightforward for me at this stage. I can now punch ghosts. Then color. I usually stop after coloring, but for this animation, I wanted to add some lightning effects. So I brought the frames over to Clip Studio Paint and added a bunch of lighting and shading. I like shading and lighting things in Clip Studio Paint. I added very purpley lightning. And this is what the final thing looks like. Ta-da! I can now punch ghosts. I can now punch ghosts.